as a student, you are driving the research. You're not someone who plays a secondary or a tertiary role and is really sort of relegated to, you know, I don't know, bringing donuts for the meeting. You're not constantly reminded, don't touch that, it's too expensive. It does happen at big schools where you have a lot of people who just can't take the chance that an undergraduate might, out of enthusiasm, do something that they have to then wait for six months to fix. At Rose Holman, we take that chance. We want you to grow intellectually and grow in confidence that you can deal with research-grade equipment. We have research experiences built into some of our freshman and sophomore courses. And then I think that being at an engineering school is a benefit because when we're gonna solve big biology problems, it's gonna involve the input of scientists and engineers working together. I'm very passionate about sustainability and um, growing, just growing things and being a gardener. Probably my biggest cross-curricular endeavor right now is doing a campus farm um, and working with different departments. For example, the double E department here is designing a sand filter to filtrate pond water so it's drinkable. And it's really kind of cool that other departments are getting involved. That's something that I think Rose has allowed me to pursue uh, through the sciences. They are very open-minded to anything you want to do. When you come to Rose, I think you have a chance of becoming a more well-rounded scientist because you do interact with and perhaps have the opportunity to also look at other closely related fields that can only expand your horizons and your definition of what science is. The engineers know they need the scientists and the scientists know we need the engineers to work together. I needed to pick a senior thesis advisor so I went to Dr. O'Connor and I said hey I would really like you to be my thesis advisor and she said okay, do you have a project? And I said, no, I'm not really sure. And she said, well, this one professor in physics, Dr. Syed, is really interested in these bacteria. They're called magnetotactic bacteria. They are basically magnetic. And I said, me, <laughs> me. I'm a biology major, and there's a really strong physics component of this because of the magnets. So I had to have a physics professor to help guide me through what I'm doing. But it was really cool having two perspectives on a project. Uh, because you have the, it's alive, and you have the, it's a magnet. Um, and those are very different points of view. What they learn is, this is my project. It's no longer a project I'm working on with Dr. Syed. A lot of bigger places where, you know, they might allow you to participate, but you're never driving the process. And here I think you, you, you are. I mean, nobody else is, so uh, faculty count on you to do that.